Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! <clears throat> Last time, we did some... we dicked around Narch for a bit, then we came to Figaro Castle and watched a very touching scene of Edgar and Sabin's history. Which is yet another good reason to take them both here, incidentally. This time around, we have to... we are here to... Def to make some very questionable actions. For example... DO IT! Hmm... I feel like this should probably have different music. Although, I'm not sure if that's the case for certain. But the whole world map is really kind of buggy as all hell in this game. At least in terms of cosmetic things. Oh well. Oh well. I knew what I was getting into when I chose this version of the game. And suddenly, we're on the other side of a mountain range. Because, you know, that, that works. Oh hey, the prison. You... I hate you. Okay. Okay. Let's just get out of this sand hole. We want to go here. Cooling in. Cool. Cool. Cooling in. Cool. Yeah. This place. As previously stated, Shadow was here. There's also a weapon and armor shop, but it's mostly the same stuff as in Narsh. Mostly. S a strange golden creature th flew through here, scared the living daylights out of me. It took off southwards, towards Jador. And so we now we know where we should go. But let's talk around here a bit first. My dream is to see an opera at the Opera House south of Jador. With a handsome date, of course. Well, I bet I could help you with that. Edgar's in front. <laughs> hmm, actually, if this is where I think it is, then you should bring Locke here if you possible. Even if you don't care about stealing, you should. That thing! I don't know what it was, but it tore up my house. Some kind of glowing monster. Did it really? Hmm. Nothing inside. Let's go into the inn. Hmm, that music sounds familiar. Aha! Shadow! We can't hire you. We have too many people. It, like I said before, if we had three people, we would be able to hire him. And have him journey with us for a while. But we're not doing that this time. I know, I know, he'd kill his own grandmother for a dime. I've heard it before. In fact, I think it was Edgar who said it before. <laughs> okay, nothing in here that I'm much interested in, other than Shadow, of course. Shadow's always interesting. A girl named Rachel used to live in that house up there. No one lives there anymore, though. Rachel, you say? I... I couldn't protect her. Locke, what are we off to find today? It's almost your... There's supposed to be an amazing treasure hidden somewhere in this mountain. We're gonna find it! Uh-oh. I don't like that sound. Oh, that cannot be good. Yet another tragic backstory. Ah, 
I hope she's okay. Although, we know she doesn't live in this house anymore. Hmm? She lost her memory in the Well, I'm gonna go ahead and ignore the whole amnesia trope for now, because... This is pretty damn tragic. Contrived amnesia or not. Poor Locke. Wait, just let me talk to her! Please, just go away. I don't know who you are, but my parents get upset whenever you come here. Rachel would be better off without you hanging around, Locke. She's gonna have to make a new start of it. With you here, she can't even do that. So, this kind of explains a lot of Locke's motivation in the past. A year went by. When I finally returned, I found out that Rachel had been killed in an Imperial attack. Her memory returned just before she died. The last thing she said was, My... Oh, that's so tragic. But hey, another clock elixir, so you know that's that's a thing. Seriously, who keeps putting these in clocks? I really want to know. Let's see. Wait, no, that's I don't want to go back in here. Uh, can I... maybe I do want to go back in here. Wait. Go to the... what? Sorry, just my... as usual, my instructions are really bad. So, I'm trying to figure out what I'm actually told myself to do. Oh, there we go, that looks right. No, maybe not. But, we went... Best stay away from that house on the eastern edge of town. Crazy little coot sits up in there mashing up smelly little herbs all day. I even heard he's got a ghost in his basement. Okay. Oh, there's a guy back there. Okay, what? Okay, my instructions unhelpfully say to enter a house in the... Maybe I'm in the wrong house. Hmm. You know, there's a secret entrance somewhere and it leads to an item. I clearly don't know where the hell the secret entrance is. Okay, well I can't afford anything anyway, but... Oh hey, that's actually new. I would sort of like to be able to buy one of those. So, I guess I'll sell some stuff. Like a dagger... Or a... Mithril sword? No, I don't want to sell that. Metal knuckle? I can sell that. Let's see... I don't want to sell the buckler, actually. Leather cap, I feel I can sell. Is that a no? That's expensive. It's my own damn fault for not remembering, but. Oi. I don't really have much to sell, though, is the problem. 
I can sell this. I, well, I don't want to, though. Hmm. This is hard. Because the problem is, I don't know what I will have to replace later. I can probably sell that. Mmm. I can probably sell that. I think that gives me just enough. Haha! And if I go over here quickly, just to show, the only new things here are the throwables, which are a non issue because I don't have Shadow in my party. Okay, let's look at that headband. Increases my strength, speed, and stamina, but it doesn't increase my HP. That mm, I'm not sure. I I think I prefer the green barrettes, to be honest. So I'll keep those on. Now then, if I can find the damn thing, is it back here? Maybe. Oh, that was it. It's another green barrette. Number four. So now we have a full set. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna leave the Magus hat on Celeste, though. I prefer having the extra... Whoops. Magic power. Can I just... Thank you. Now I just have one more stop while I'm here. This is the old coot. Ha ha ha! Actually, for a very good reason, though. Oh, Locke! It's been ages! Ages, even! Oh, that? Don't worry! Worry not! Your treasure is quite safe, tee hee hee hee! It's a good thing I just happened to have finished this herbal concoction back then. Now she'll never age a day. <laughs> Had to use my herbs, I did. Couldn't very well refuse with you begging me like that. Yeah. You're sure the stuff will work? Of course, of course! The love of your life will sleep here just like this was forever. And ever, and ever! <laughs> He's a little crazy. But... She's dead. A way to call her back, eh? You mean like that legendary treasure? <laughs> oh yes, I suppose if you had that. You might be able to bring her around! Yeah! <laughs> yep. Lock. Hmm. Okay, so our next destination is to the south of here, but we are going to take a short ish detour before going there. There's something to the north, where it's not really very important now, but we can get a relic there, and so I'm going to go after that. Plus also new enemies are a thing. More powerful enemies, but not powerful enough to stand up to an aura sphere! Ha <laughs> I, I enjoy that way too much. 
But anyway, you can probably see it on the world map, but if not, we'll be there in two or three more random encounters. Um... Vultures, eh? Oh, that hit pretty hard, didn't it? Oh, hey, I should actually confirm. Let's try using the drill. Haha, <laughs> high potion! Well, it is more powerful than the crossbow, anyway. Truth be told, it's not going to be too much longer before Edgar starts falling. Excuse me, starts falling off in effectiveness. At least for a while. He gets one really good oomph or two later on to help him keep up, but he's mostly for an early game character. And mid game, I guess, to a less, somewhat lesser degree. Anyway. I don't think there's even anyone here right now. Yeah. We're just here for the. Hero's Ring! Which is a relic that, let's see, boosts physical and magical power, but it's not an earring, so I don't know who, I, I guess I could swap it out for the, or swap the ribbon out for it if I wanted. Actually, I need to look up how much this increases my power, because I don't uh, honestly know. It might be worthwhile to throw on someone right away, but, you know, I'll figure that out next time. Or more accurately, between this time and next time. And anyway, until then, I I'm at a... Mm, until then, I'm at a pretty good length to stop up here. So, until next time, when we travel south of that town, to wherever the hell we're going next. This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Blue, and have a good day.